Okay, all right, 2.0 in Baltimore, 0.2 at Reagan National Airport. Just a whisper. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and if you put that together, that's only 3.3 for the season. Guys, we need to stay on this map because the big screen is not working. So let's take this map here and I'll show you what we've got going on for the evening. And as we look outside across the area, look at these numbers. Temperature at 36 right now downtown. 33 over at Andrews, Manassas at 33, but look at those 32 degree numbers. Leesburg, 32, Gaithersburg, 32, Warrington right now checking in at 34 degrees. Right now, Winchester checking in at 32 as well. Leonardtown at 34. We are right near that freezing mark. So as you make your way out early tomorrow morning, maybe heading to Sunday services, be careful, sidewalks, driveways could be slippery. Sun up at 657, but early in the morning, there could be some slick spots out there. And that is what we have a little bit of concern. But once that sunshine returns, temperatures will make a run into the 50s and it'll be warming up rather nicely. Coming up, we'll look at some of the other snow totals from around the region and we'll talk about a big time warming trend which could possibly take us into the 70s by as early as Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Back to you. Wow, what a roller coaster. All right, Brian, thank you. In Iowa, a quick blast of snow causing this massive pileup. 70 cars collided on the highway today. Authorities say it was so bad drivers could not see where they were going, and that caused the chain reaction crashes. Victims described the scene as bumper cars. No serious injuries were reported. Check out the big fat flakes falling along the Sligo Creek. Earlier today, Montgomery Parks tweeted this slow motion video. Sure was pretty while it lasted. Don't forget to download the free Stormwatch 7 weather app to get the very latest forecast right at your fingertips. We have new details tonight about a serious crash last week near South Dakota Avenue in Northeast. A car wrapped around a traffic pole. Debris was scattered everywhere. Four people had to be rushed to the hospital. Tonight, we did confirm that 25-year-old Dominique Johnson, who was in critical condition, is now out of a coma. We're told he was rescued by a good Samaritan. D.C. Council Member Robert White is calling on the D.C. Public Schools Chancellor to resign. This is new tonight after a Seven on Your Side investigation has revealed a grade-fixing scandal in the school system. Now, White also says Chancellor Antoine Wilson broke a policy to prohibit public officials from obtaining discretionary school transfers. White says Wilson helped write it just a few months ago. And as we follow the deadly Florida school shooting, there is no deal for the suspected gunman. Attorneys for Nicholas Cruz offered to make a guilty plea deal, but the prosecution says this is the type of case the death penalty was designed for. This is disturbing new details emerge about the 19-year-old. A child services report reveals Cruz cut himself in 2016 and shared video of his injuries on Snapchat and saying he wanted to get a gun. Over the past few years, the sheriff says they responded to 20 calls regarding Cruz. He was on medication that his public defender says he stopped taking. His attorney also detailed Cruz's alleged cruelty to animals. The people in the government who were voted into power are lying to us. Us kids, the only ones who notice, are prepared to call BS. Intense moments at an anti-gun rally, a Parkland High School survivor expressing her anger and frustration with leaders, calling on lawmakers to push for firearm safety. The accused shooter used an AR-15 rifle, protesters questioning why there's such easy access to that kind of weapon. And this sign could be seen flying in Miami Beach. A woman paid to fly that banner, saying, shame on you, Marco Rubio and NRA. According to the New York Times, the Florida senator has received more than $3 million from the NRA as of October 2017. In the meantime, Vice President Mike Pence giving a speech in Dallas and hinting at a new focus for the White House. School safety, yes, but also mental health. The Justice Department is already working with agencies across our government to study the intersection of mental health and criminality. Pence also said the administration wants to give law enforcement the tools to handle individuals with potentially dangerous mental illnesses. Wow, look at that building swaying for more than a minute. An earthquake rocking Mexico yesterday. This was a 7.2 magnitude quake and it sent people running into the streets of Mexico City. 13 people died not directly because of that quake, but a military helicopter surveying the damage crashed in a field on top of two cars. 
15 others were injured. Nearly a million homes and businesses are without power tonight. New at 11 back here at home, a bookstore making history in a southeast neighborhood. It's the first one in this particular area in over 20 years. Our Q McCray giving us a look inside tonight. Brothers Nasir and Khalil enjoy a great page turner. They can thank mom for that. They love to read books and um, I wanted to take them to a, book, uh, a bookstore. Not just any bookstore, but the first one in D.C. to open east of the Anacostia River in more than 20 years, Mahogany Books. And we wanted to be accessible in the community. We wanted people to be able to go down the street and walk into a bookstore, even if they had the internet or not. Husband and wife Derek and Ramunda Young started selling books online. Their shop is days old. Whether you're looking to start a new business, looking for some new recipes, or maybe are into fictional superheroes, Mahogany Bookstore has a book for just about everyone. About 90% of the books are about the African diaspora. It's important for us to have these books here that reflect our culture and our history. It just helps to validate um, what their parents are telling them, that anything is possible. And it's working. I think it's pretty good because, you know, it influenced other black people in this, in this community. I feel happy because there's a lot of books that I can get that I want. Mahogany Books is located in the Anacostia Art Center on Good Hope Road. I, I, I like that they got the uh, Black Panther books. Needless to say, they'll be back. In Southeast Washington, Q McCray, ABC 7 News. And this year marks the 200th anniversary of Frederick Douglass's birth. Crowds came out to the National Historic Site in Southeast today to take part in the big bicentennial weekend. He is just an amazing person um, that we should all remember uh, for all of his achievements. Hopefully uh, this is not only a history for a certain uh, population, this is American history. Tours inside Douglas's home plus other events will be happening again tomorrow. There's also a new mural in Southeast honoring Frederick Douglass. It's right near the National Historic Site at 16th and W Streets. It shows Douglas with other important figures. Back to our weather coverage now, as Brian mentioned, one concern overnight, slick roads. Our Q McRae has been traveling around our area in Storm Track 7 for hours. Q, any slipping and sliding or all clear? Well, no slipping and sliding. That's the good news here tonight. We're actually live in Mobile Track 7, heading uh, eastbound towards town. We're leaving Tyson's Corner, heading towards DC on 66. And uh, as you can see for yourself, no rain, no snow to talk about. That's the good news. You'll remember, Kim, when I spoke to you back at 6 o'clock, different story. The roads were slick, they were slushy, there was a mix of snow and rain coming down, but that's no longer the case. The only water we're dealing with right now is that there is still a little you know, film of water on the road, and we're still getting some road spray from the vehicles ahead of us. And we'll actually have the uh, windshield wipers go right now to show you the difference there of what it looks like without that spray from the cars ahead of us uh, but beyond that water uh, that's it uh, the roads out here right now are good to go uh, though if you're out here you may want to drive slightly because the roads are a little bit wet reporting live from storm track 7 on q mccray abc 7 news thank you so much coming up on abc 7 news at 11 it's more than a movie it's a movement black panther on tap to make history in more ways than one Plus, frightening questions about how accurately doctors can really make a flu diagnosis. The machine giving much better results. And the U.S. back on the podium. The Olympic medal count right after this. A seven on your side investigation. Pet food containing a euthanasia drug. First, the government took action. And now, the food is being pulled from shelves nationwide. ABC 7 News, getting results, and always on your side. Wake up with us, weekdays on Good Morning Washington, where good mornings start. Your heart is the hardest working muscle in your body. So the MedStar Heart and Vascular Institute is working harder to keep it strong. We treat more complex cases and conduct more advanced research than anyone in the region. And our fellowship-trained physicians